If you don't like complex equations but still need to understand beam dynamics then stick around. Alright, picture this. A shear force is like using scissors to cut paper. It tries to make one part of the beam slide past the other. Imagine pushing up on one side of a plank and down on the other close together. That's shear force at work. Now let's talk bending. Think of placing a stick across two supports and pressing down in the middle. The stick curves, that's bending. It happens because internal stresses fight against the shape change. So, how do they connect? Shear forces impact how the bending moment changes along the beam. Where there's high shear, the bending changes quickly. Visualize shear as the messenger telling the beam sections how much to bend based on the loads. Analogy time. Imagine a row of books on a shelf. Push one from the side, that's shear. As they tip and bend, that's bending. The push starts the tipping. In short, shear forces affect how bending changes along a beam. They're the messengers of bending.